Trinity. I am here with Alter Guild extraordinaire, Barbara Webb, and we have something exciting to tell you and something to explain. So we are um, moving back in line with a more traditional form of communion by having the common cup, the chalice, which we've seen and been using in worship, and the intinction cup. And I'm also aware that intinction is um, not necessarily an intuitive word, and as communion is one of our most common um, divergence points from other Christian traditions, we thought we would just um, illustrate a few things for you. I initially tried to put together a flow chart, but it looked funny. <laughs> yeah. So we're doing this. Nothing is, um, nothing is consecrated. This is just a... Um, it's not even bread and wine. It's just an illustration. All right, so um, we want to make sure everyone can participate in um, the sacrament of communion, um, God's presence with us, um, a memorial of our redemption, and an invitation to the Lord's table. So we have a non-alcoholic option. Um, we will have we'll have our usual common cup chalice and a smaller intinction chalice. And I will put this where it will be. So as you can see, that's on the shelf above the baptismal font. And so we'll have these, we'll have these options. We'll also have um, a gluten-free bread of Christ. And that is on the post right here. So I will be here to offer you um, the body of Christ, the bread of heaven. If you are gluten-free and need this, let me know. Need if, if you've been around, it's the one that she always has to run up and get for me. That's true. Called out, but true. Um, all right, so let's um, let's show you how to intinct. Okay. All Which right. is right over there. Here. Yeah. Change your focus. Okay. So you'll come up and you'll get whatever bread you use from Gail, and then you'll come over here. And the LEM will be standing here, the lay Eucharistic minister, with the chalice. But if you want to have non-alcoholic or you or if you want to intent, sipping, dipping. <laughs> Not sipping and dipping, sipping, dipping. Okay? And you dip. And let's I'm bring let's this get a close-up on that action. Yeah. I'm gonna bring this closer. Let's get a when close up. When you intent, keep your fingers out of the wine. Just a little tip, you know, in the, in the wine. Not all the way down with your fingers, okay? Now that's a flavor combination. All right, so. And the, the LEM will say, as usual, the blood of Christ, the cup of salvation. For the children, they cannot reach it. He'll do the grand swap and hand them the small chalice for intention. He will hold it down where they can reach it. He or she. Or they. They. The people that look like penguins will hold it down. If you have trouble reaching, you can ask the LEM to please hand you the chalice. Yes, uh, asking, always a great thing to do. Um, we just want to support your participation in communion and your participation in this experience of Jesus. So Barbara was really clear and made it rhyme that the common cup is for sipping, the intinction chalice is for dipping. It's not original to me. <laughs> I just like it, take a compliment. <laughs> we, will, we will not be crossing that, we, were, we want to... Um, respect the purpose of each, and we want to respect any um, concerns that would keep you from this beautiful practice of communion. Another thing to know is that if you only receive the bread, if you only receive the body of Christ, receiving part of the sacrament is receiving the grace of the whole sacrament. You cannot half the sacrament if you receive just the bread. You have received the whole and beautiful sacrament and sign of Jesus' presence with you. And if you receive just the wine, 
or the intention cup, you have received the entire sacrament. But, you know, when they don't have gluten-free bread, for those of us who have problems with it. <laughs> if you have any questions, as you can tell, we would love to answer them. Please let us know. Thank you, and see you Sunday.